So, I am finally doing a video. This video is just an update on my current life situation right now in prep. I am currently 18 weeks out as of yesterday, I believe. Um, I am starting my prep earlier. This show that I am doing is the Vancouver Pro-Am in July on the 11th. I originally qualified to do this show last year and um, unfortunately, unfortunate circumstances, uh, two weeks after my last show in March last year, uh, my dad passed away. So that kind of um, put my show on the back burner. However, um, something that's very near and dear to my heart is that uh, the one request and wish he had for me before he passed away, the day before actually, uh, when I last talked to him was that he wanted me to compete in that show and um, so I guess you could say I'm going to be doing this also in memory of my my father um, uh, here's a here anyone who doesn't know that's my dad there's me a couple years ago when we first found out he was First found out he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, it was a quick thing. It didn't, uh, he didn't last very long. The cancer was eating away at it. He had bone marrow cancer and he was eat it was eating away at his bones very rapidly. So anyway, not to be all morbid and everything, that's not why I'm here. Um, it has been a crazy year of uh, last year. Last year was a crazy year. This year has been immensely better. Um, things seem to be going in the right direction, hence why I'm doing this competition. Um, things financially and emotionally and physically have been way better. So I guess um, the first two weeks uh, that I started this prep, um, I'm not gonna lie, they, they haven't been the easiest. The first week I had just emotional doubts about myself and um, I was, for some very strange reason, I was just constantly thinking about my dad and missing him and just, it was just an emotional week and I, my head was just not there mentally. Um, I am I am now, I am mentally, physically all there but uh with this prep but yeah that first week was just i don't know i went but i felt like i was just going through the motions um the second week last week this past week um uh it was not uh i was ready to start i was ready to go like hey i had a shitty last week but i got through it i'll keep going and then i got sick and that set me back a tad bit. I missed three days at the gym this past week. Um, but the minute I started feeling better on Thursday, I immediately started going back to the gym and my eating did not change. I've been uh, very consistent with my plan and uh, making sure I'm getting my meals in, etc., etc. So um, started back on Thursday. I guess you could say prep has kind of started now. It feels like it anyway, but it's been awesome so far and I know it's early too early to say but it's not too early to say it is what it is um prep is not going to be easy all the time you do have to enjoy the process if you want to do something like this it is it is for the people who are extreme who are willing to eat the same cold food day in and day out who are willing to do the extra amount of cardio that most humans do not do in even a year okay um or a month or whatever um but it is a lifestyle it is a choice i've made this choice to do this show and i have i am not going to do what i did last time where i'm constantly complaining and miserable about my prep because you know i can't have this i can't do that and then cheat and then and then feel like shit about it afterwards and then try and start all over again. And then just, it was just a vicious cycle, right? Um, I was lucky to place where I placed that year. Um, and I'm grateful for that because now it's given me the opportunity to do the Van Pro show, which is like the biggest show in BC, which is amazing. Um, but uh, I'm forever grateful for being able to do this show. So... Um, my coach 
Dean and Lee uh, train me online. They live in Vancouver area. I always forget the exact location, but they live in uh, Va the Vancouver area and I live in Williams Lake, which is very far, five, four or five hour drive from there. So, um, so far it's been amazing. I trust them a hundred percent with my diet, with my training, with uh, posing. I'm going to be meeting with Lee this coming, my next coming days off um, on the 16th. So I'm super stoked about that. I have been practicing, practicing, practicing my posing. Last year, I did not know anything. It was my first prep. I'm not going to give myself too much of our time now. But yeah, I did not get the proper training that I needed to do uh, the proper posing on stage. I felt like like I was just winging it when I went on stage, but you know, I did the best I could. And, and now there's things that I know I had to tweak and things I have to still work on and I'm continuously doing that. So, you know, it's a learning process, right? This is just something I just, yeah, you, it does you don't learn it overnight, but if you have a knack for it, you have a flair for it, you just know, right? And I know I do. Um, that's to me being humble. I'm not trying to be, you know, cocky or anything like that, but just, no, I know I have, I know I have uh, a gift in this division and I know that it takes time to get to that pro level, but I am 100% going to be getting there at some point in my life. And um, yeah, so I'm rambling on. I don't know how many people are gonna actually look watch this video, but this is just the first video first start of my prep and where I'm at right now um, starting in and so far it has been awesome. My husband is 100% always supportive of me. Um, he's actually doing this prep with me. Unfortunately last year we picked a really weird time to do a prep. I always wanted to do another bodybuilding competition since the first one failed years ago um, but you know his dad passed away and then two months later, he's like, screw it. I really want you to do this show. You've been wanting to do this. We'll suck it up. And unfortunately, he couldn't be there for me um, uh, in my prep at that time. And rightfully so. Um, you know, we both lost our dads and that's just stressful enough. But uh, I, I felt like I, I had done it partially alone as well. Like he was still doing things for me, helping me out with food prep or driving or whatever. Um, but, you know, this time around... He is mentally where he needs to be as well and um, he's doing it with me which is amazing like I don't you know there's a lot of people couples that you know one person competes other one doesn't they don't know anything about it they don't join them and that's fine if that's they're okay with that but I am just very 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 humbly grateful to have Warren doing it with me and the fact that he's already into bodybuilding he's already you know amazing at what he does and he's taught me almost everything that I know as far as bodybuilding is concerned um I've been competing or I've been competing I've been bodybuilding since um well when we first started dating and that was uh back in 2000 and 15 16 anyway it's been at least five years I would say almost five years um, so yeah, I've started literally from the ground up and I've put in the work and I'm, yeah. So this is, I've got a foundation to work with now and, um, you know, I'm just going to keep going up from there. So yeah, so this is the update I have for everyone who is watching and interested in my prep and what is going on. <sighs> I'm so excited, um, nervous. You know, it'll be going into the summer before I step on stage. But you know what? I don't really care. It's July 11th and I am just, I just want to do it. And I'm going to make myself proud. I'm going to make my family and the people that love and care for me very proud. And especially my father, my father-in-law, wherever they are right now, hopefully in heaven. And um, yeah, that's, that's my, that's my incentive. And to any of the people in my life, in my past, that said I could never do anything and never amount to anything. But here I am. So I've got a career under my belt. I've got a bodybuilding lifestyle that I've chosen to do and I've been doing for a long time. And I have a husband who is over the moon for me and I am of him. So 
I don't think you could ask for more than that. So anyway, happy Sunday, everybody. Here's my life. This is what, uh, this is me being raw. This is me being honest and truthful and uh, just real with the people that follow me and are viewing this. So yeah.